Russian President Vladimir Putin has once again invoked red lines, warning Western leaders that any decision to allow Ukraine to fire long-range missiles at Russian territory would mean NATO is at war with Russia, says Peter Dickinson, editor of a column for the Atlantic Council. He noted that these words contain the obvious problem of the Russian dictator's threats. Ukraine is already using the aforementioned weapons to strike at occupied regions that Putin considers Russian, and this has not provoked any escalation, let alone a war between Russia and NATO, the expert noted. According to him, there are already signs that Western leaders are ready to reconsider their position and give Ukraine the green light, despite Putin's threats. The analyst believes that Putin hopes to intimidate NATO leaders while he himself has not yet adapted to the new territorial realities promoted by his own rhetoric. The head of the Kremlin, as Dickinson recalls, said that the temporarily occupied territories of Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia regions will forever remain with Russia, but the strikes of the Ukrainian armed forces with Western missiles on the occupiers in these regions, as well as on Crimea, did not violate the red lines. In August 2024, as the article states, the Ukrainian army crossed the reddest of all lines when it entered the territory of the Kursk region. It is now clear that Putin's red lines are a bluff designed to scare the West and isolate Ukraine. Over the past two and a half years, his attempts to impose restrictions on international adversaries have been repeatedly exposed and have become increasingly disconnected from the reality of the war. We have reached the point where Putin's latest red lines directly contradict his own propaganda, Dickinson said. Let us recall that it is previously reported on strikes deep into Russia with Western weapons and what the NATO Secretary General thinks about this. According to him, Ukraine needs to be given this permission so that it has the opportunity to defend itself to strike airfields, artillery and other military facilities. Russia could also conduct nuclear tests to intimidate the West. Experts have outlined several steps Putin could take to remind everyone of his red lines. The sound of broken brick and glass could be heard underfoot as Ukraine special, White Angel, police officers walked through a destroyed church in Donetsk on Tuesday. The blue, gold and red hues of the church's decorative paintings were set against rubble on the ground. The church was built more than 110 years ago, Gennady Yudin, the major of the special police unit said, walking through the debris in Novo Economic, a small village a few kilometers from the front line in eastern Ukraine. The dome was completely destroyed and several icons of Jesus Christ left in ruins. Locals are saying that this church survived the Second World War, but was destroyed by the Russian army, Yudin said. Russian forces destroyed the church with aerial bombardment on July 8 according to Ukrainian officials. Yudin added that a church in his native city of Avdiivka was also destroyed earlier in the war. Elsewhere in Donetsk, in Mernohrad, a multi-store building lay in ruins on Tuesday. Повторно таке влучання і церква повністю зруйнована. Місцеві говорять, що ця церква в роки вітчизняної війни вціліла, а зараз от російські війська повністю зруйнували.